we took the headband off, we took my glasses off, so my visual prospects are literally flopped. And we're gonna talk about the best trends of 2023 so far. So as I mentioned in my last video, 2023 for me was the year where IRL fashion, which means in real life, for those who didn't know like me, IRL fashion versus real uh, life fashion, diverged the most. We saw a lot of funky things happening. We saw a lot of cores. We saw a lot of niche stuff and it's fun and I want to comment on it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is outfit formulas. Now this was the topic of my the video before my last video. <laughs> um, I collaborated with Kathleen Illustrated on a video where we both tried outfit formulas that the other one created. And outfit formulas are basically recipes on how to create an outfit. Now I have lately come across a lot of reels on my feed where people are trying very random formulas and tricks and tactics of building an outfit, which I don't think is realistic for an everyday day to basis, but I think it's very fun to think about how different people want to achieve a certain look and different ways to get there. First, you're gonna need a black dress. If it's asymmetrical, even better. A statement black pants. We wanna keep it all black, monochrome. A black long coat or a black long jacket a bomber jacket or even better a puffer jacket if you have one this is key you want to wear the chunkiest step one put on a button-up a tank top or a graphic tee step two put on a pair of bottoms that do not match the vibe of the top step three put on a pair of shoes that matches the vibe of the top step four layer any part of your outfit step five get a purse that matches any part of the outfit and put it on step six accessorize to the moon first you'll need a maxi skirt make it really ugly then you'll need a baby tee or tank top, bonus points if it's actually from the children's section. A pair of loafers or cowboy boots. Put your hair into two braids, pigtails, or space buns. Add some wraparound Y2K sunglasses. A hobo bag or a tote bag that your friend who's an artist made. Every single piece of silver jewelry you own. An oversized pair of headphones. And boom, you're ready for the Lower East Side. For instance, as I was watching Alina Ozark's video where she mentioned an eight point or nine point outfit formula, which is basically there's a, this list where each item is given a point. For example, I think tops are worth one point. The goal is for it to have exactly that amount of points in all of your outfits, like eight points or something. But I think this was a great trend of 2023 because it has kind of mathematized fashion in a fun way. Moving on, the next thing I want to talk about is actually one uh, outfit formula that I created for myself or that I, when I looked at my favorite outfits, I realized they all had something in common. Using a very hyper feminine item with a hyper masculine item. Now this could be wearing a pair of sport shorts um, with a lace top. It could be wearing a very feminine dress with a pair of jeans underneath. It could be wearing a lace top with some cargo pants. And isn't it an interesting that some weird random fabrics you put on top of your skin make you feel more or less like yourself. And how you really have no power in determining what you like more or not because if someone else would try to make me dress in another way that wasn't this way, I would really not feel comfortable in my clothes. So technically, I love my taste, but I really don't control what my taste is. The next trend is lace. Um, you guys probably know this already about me, but I have been very in love with lace items. My grandma first gifted me this white lace long sleeve uh, dread, like sleeping shirt, I would say. Her generation used to wear such cute things to sleep. Like I, we just wear random pajamas and they had really beautiful things to sleep in. But she gave me that and ever since then, which was like a year ago probably, I've worn it in so many different ways and I bought more lace stuff or thrifted more lace stuff. I remember in the beginning really wanting to thrift more things and even commenting that on my channel, but also expressing that I was kind of afraid that this was just a micro trend that I would get over. And a lot of you guys just commented how you thought that lace wasn't going to be a micro trend because it's always been here somehow. It's just been 
more popularized recently and I'm glad that that's what's been revealing as the truth. I think every so often in a show a specific thing will pop and then just like go everywhere and I think Lace first had its big pop off in Fenty's uh, Fall Winter 2022 collection. I really like Lace. And as I said I will be touching on Barbie core not even because I myself really love the whole Barbie core outfits but I really like I, I, as a woman, I feel like the Barbie movie has picked up on the whole femininity style and the whole pink color and fashion and has normalized it more or detached it from its original meaning. I feel like pink was associated with someone being more superficial, more dumb, more not powerful, more emotional, more hysterical maybe. And now pink has just kind of twisted it and I think it's been rocked more as a power color, kind of like red. I do think the whole fuchsia and super pop bubble pink first had its woohoo when Valentino released its collection, I believe, last year in 2022. And now it's just been reinforced um, with all strength by the movie. I just think there were a lot of negative connotations to wearing this specific shade of pink. And now it's, even if it's just us women giving it, because we also give ourselves and our things those negative connotations, it is not just men. So even if it's just us women starting to see pink more as a power color, I think that's very cool. Now, a uh, random trend that I really like this year is I think people started giving a lot more attention to belts. That means more thick belts, more tiny belts, more models and original ways of using belts. Like this girl that was wearing a belt as a top, that is so, like, different. The area of your body where the belt goes is an area that isn't very much explored in um, accessorizing. Before we had, you know, the waist chains be super popular and the contra belts and even layering a lot of belts on top of each other. Like you, you accessorize a lot on your neck, you might have some like ankle bracelets or funky shoes, but then in the middle of your body there's not usually a lot of things going on and I like that belts have been explored more this year. A little micro trend that is probably a micro trend and that is very recent so maybe that's why I'm loving it so much compared to other trends this year that have already gone by but I am still loving the little scarves especially on summer tops. I think they are so cute they give the look such a more elevated like they level up an outfit one or two levels just by having the matching little scarf. I really like it and I wanted to touch on it. I was watching a video from one of my favorite YouTube uh, fashion people on YouTube and he was saying how for men there has been, he's been seeing a lot of accessorizing on the keychain, like putting your keychain onto your belt and he called it like the carabiners or something. I'll definitely link his video down below. And I think that is actually something I've been seeing a man do more and also women. So it kind of ties in with the belts thing where you can do really funky stuff with tying things onto your jeans, um, belt, hooks. And then another little trend that I also really like this summer just to finish this the summer and this year. Just to finish this video is sports shorts. I swear that if I was more into collecting a bunch of fashion items, I would have bought at least three or four pairs of sports shorts instead of just my uh, green one that you've been seeing me wear a ton. I can't really quite explain why, but until sports shorts, there weren't any shorts models in specific that I think were so fun to style so i'm glad that someone thought of bringing them back as like a fashionable item for women anyways i'm sweating again so i'm going to remove myself from this hot studio make sure to follow me on my instagram and my instagram i have a spotify playlist where i link all the videos and my all the music that i use in my videos in case you're curious and i'll see you very very soon bye